Hey everybody, Steve from OpenBOM, and let's take a look at the uh, new multi-level revision support that's added in the March 2020 release of OpenBOM. We're going to use a couple of existing bills of material here, take you through the existing behavior, and then try to demonstrate what the new behavior will, will do for you. So let's start with the same, uh, with the stapler bottom that we created in uh, one of the earlier videos, and I've added a couple of space paint specifications to that. I've also used the existing functionality of save new, new revision to create a couple of revisions of this bill material. First one is Rev1 where I don't have any paint specs um, identified. And then I, I saved another revision which I called Rev2 and I gave it a, a comment, uh, add paint spec. So we can think about this, uh, this lower for the stapler is kind of right now existing in, in, in three sort of states. Latest, which we're looking at right now. Um, revision two, which is, for the moment is the same as latest. It has the two paint, the, the paint specs. And then revision one, which has uh, no paint specs defined. All right. So I'm going to return to the upper level assembly for, for this, uh, this is to the stapler. And let's view this in multi-level. And in multi-level, we, kn we know that we're in the latest state here. And we're seeing the bottom bill material, which is this area here, identified as, as bottom, with the two paint specs in it, because those are in the, in the latest state. So, I also saved an earlier version of this top level assembly. This is sort of, and this is the new functionality in something called Rev1, which did not, which contained bottom in uh, an earlier state, which did not include the, uh, include the paint specs. So what we're looking at right now, the new functionality in this release is that I can view in multi-level a revision of my multi-level bill material. It's different than latest. And what OpenBOM will present to us is the revisions of all of the sub-assemblies that were in the revision state that they were in at the time that the top-level revision was created. So this is truly a snapshot of the entire structure and not just the top level, not just a snapshot of the top-level assembly, which is what we've had up to this point. So this new functionality lets me ans answer the question, hey, what did the stapler look like at Rev1? In other words, what was the top level of that stapler as well as what, was, what did all the lower level sub assemblies look like at Rev1, Rev which is what I've got right here. And then I, I can say, okay, here's what it looks like as, as latest. And now I, I can say, okay, well, let's, I, I now I, I'm, I'm looking at this at, at latest. Let's return to a single level and let's create a new version now, which is which is going to be Rev2. So I've got a couple of states of the top at the, in the top level assembly. Let's view it in multi-level. I have Rev1 which contained an earlier version. This is the top level assembly contained an earlier version of the bottom part of the stapler. I've got Rev2, which contains a later version of the bottom part of the stapler with the, with the uh, paint spe specifications defined. And then I also have latest where I can continue to do some work. So I hope that that was helpful. We're going to add some new cues in the UI, I think in the coming release that'll, that'll help signpost that a little bit more. But um, I'd just like to draw your attention to this new UI in multi-level, which allows you to choose revision states for the entire, um, entire multi-level structure and, uh, and be sure to look in, uh, in single level still to find the uh, a save new revision command. So I hope that that's helpful. Uh, as always, we'd like to hear your feedback at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.